Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> it's chocolate. Like, it's not winter. You know, those need to be winter ice cream chocolate milk in the summer, so. I almost said no more candy for me. Wow. <laughs> hello, Rishika, and hello, Tanvi. How are you doing? We're doing good. <laughs> yeah, we're doing good. It's just for showcasing beauty and fashion? Not at all. It's not about how you look in STEM and any career path. Whether you want to be an entrepreneur, whether you want to be an artist, whether you want to be a businesswoman, it does not matter. You need to have these basic skills and pageantry really helped me with that specifically and boost my confidence. Hello Rishika and hello Tanvi, how are you doing? We're doing good. <laughs> yeah, we're doing good. So Rishika, can you please explain about Miss North Carolina organization as well as the Miss Wilson organization? So I'm currently Miss Wilson South City 2022 and basically I'm representing the county of Wilson. Um, different counties in North Carolina have their preliminary pageants um, and anybody can go there, anybody in um, North Carolina can compete in the preliminary pageants. And if you win preliminary, you go to state, which is uh, Miss North Carolina South City Teen. Um, at state, the state is in June, and that's what I'm preparing for currently. If you win state, you go to country, which is um, Miss America, and you're going to be competing against other state winners. Rishika, how old are you? I'm 16 years old. And where do you live? Cary, North Carolina. So I study in Panther Creek High School. Um, a few of my hobbies are violin, dance, dance regarding. I do Kuchipudi, which is an Indian classical dance. I do ballet. Um, and then I do a little bit of Bollywood. Uh, what I want to be when I grow up is still uh, to be determined, but somewhere around like biotech or you know something around medical field would be the goal right now. Oh, nice. So, wow, you do a lot of art as well as you want to be a sciencey person. <laughs> That's a very good combination. How did you get interested into pageants? So my mom was... Um, fond of a, another person who was in pageantry. She was Miss DC 2016, I believe, um, Bindu Bamarthi. And, um, you know, seeing her and her own growth and, you know, seeing her perform on stage and becoming such a successful woman in pageantry really told my mom, like, you know, I think I want to join my daughter. And I think it's one of the best decisions that she's made because obviously my mom has put in so much time into pageantry, probably more than I have because she has to take me around and, you know, she's put in a lot of effort, so I think that it, it, I'm really grateful for being able to um, participate in this opportunity. Good. So Tanvi, how do you like the pageant? I like it a lot. What do you like about it? That we get to dance and do different songs. And what else? And that we make new friends over there. That's good. So hope you're enjoying all your experience with the pageants. Where are you there? I'm a Carolina princess. Nice. So what are the different levels in which the young girls can participate or compete? Uh, I know uh, since looking at Tanvi, she is seven years old. Like what is she participating as and as well as you, you're a teen. So could you explain the different levels? I started competing at a very young age of 10. Um, and basically the levels are the same, but they're obviously more tuned to like that age group and they basically introduce a girl onto the stage and, you know, try and teach her how to be more part of her community. It, it opens up so many community service hours for them. Um, I earned the presidential award when I was around 12 um, and that was, you know, such a big thing for such a young girl to do. Um, and that's like basically what the first level is about. And then there's the teen level, and that's what I'm competing in as right now. And this is basically about reaching out to the teen community and finding ways to help our age group. And I think that it's really important to take in consideration the Carolina Princess program, which is what she's part of. So she does not compete, but she does follow um, along with me. She is my Carolina Princess. So that means that every opportunity that I go to, parades, community service, uh, events, every pageant that I go to, she comes along with me and she gets to perform with me. And I think that it's such a great learning opportunity for her because she gets to see everybody else around her. And if she wants to compete um, later on in the future, she has that experience of knowing what exactly she's preparing for. And then the Miss organization 
is um, for girls, I believe, 20 and up. And basically it helps them with their college and they're uh, currently studying or working jobs and it helps them earn scholarships and that's what it's really mainly about. Um, but being Miss America is like a big deal because you are a role model for several little girls out there. So Tanvi, you're so lucky you have a good role model to follow. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. So when you're competing as a teen, you are um, basically introduced to more of a formal setting. You go into an interview and you have to talk to judges. And if you think about it, how many times do you have to go into a job interview to, you know, you know, go into the career path that you want to follow into? Or how many times have you had to write college apps to get into the college that you want to get into? This is like stuff that the pageant uh, like you know, industry actually prepares us for. In order to compete, we have to write a, a platform statement. We have to get interviewed by judges. You learn how to carry yourself and perform formally in any task that you're doing. And I think that's super important for any woman in STEM and any career path. Whether you want to be an entrepreneur, whether you want to be an artist, whether you want to be a businesswoman, it does not matter. You need to have these basic skills and pageantry really helped me with that specifically. It boosts my confidence up and it teaches you that there's so many different types of people out there. And it's uh, basically how you communicate with everybody and how you take a part in your community. So, well, a question which strikes most parents when they hear about pageants. Are these pageants just for showcasing beauty and fashion? Not at all. It's not about how you look and it's not about what you wear. Yes, of course, it's really nice to walk around with a crown and a sash and, you know, it's nice to wear a dress. You feel great, but it's about how you feel in anything that you wear. Um, obviously, there is business to hire and there's a certain guideline to follow, but it's not about your body and it's not about how you look necessarily. It's about your intelligence. It's about whether you think you're worthy of winning and it's your confidence that brings you that crown. That's a very great answer, Rishika. What are the different areas the pageants test you on? So there is um, academic levels. You cannot be failing your classes. So it's very important to be um, you know, inclusive in your school and make sure that you're participating in whatever is going on in your educational environment, whether you're homeschooled or not. Um, and then there is talent, which is about how you, what you do on stage. That could be singing, that could be dancing. I, uh, I do Bollywood on stage. But there's so, several girls who perform different skills, some girls paint on stage. And then on stage question is about, you know, walking on stage and being able to answer a question about your society, whether, um, you know, it's about like, you know, minimum wage workers or it's about cyberbullying. You need to be educated on what is going on in your society and be able to answer that question with your opinion in front of several people in a way that makes it sound like you're being diplomatic and you're being, you know, educated on your response. Um, and then other than that, it also tests your ability to get along with others. You work with several different types of people in the pageant world. There's so many people you're competing against and there's so many people that you're working with. And, you know, saying that you have to know how to get along in any scenario, any environment, whether you're in a t-shirt and jeans or whether you're in a gown and crowded sash. So nice. Your talent. So what have you been performing in the pageants? Um, I performed several different things. Um, last year I performed a ballet routine with violin. This year I'm performing Bollywood and I think it's um, important to embrace my culture because it is a very big part of my life. And I think that, you know, educating other people about what's going on in North Carolina specifically with the Indian community growing a lot, I think it's important to show that like, you know, we're here and we're here to represent because there's not much Indian community in pageantry and I think that that needs to change because there are so many of us who are very, very smart and very, very talented. And I think parents also have this certain view of pageantry that um, it's nothing like what they think it is. Oh, nice. So Tanvi, what do you think your talent will be? I think my talent could be dancing or singing. Oh, nice. So do you sing? I do sing and dance. Oh, cool. What are the benefits of participating in these pageants? There are many benefits of participating in the Miss America organization, but one main benefit is that it's scholarship based. Whatever money you're paying to participate and whatever money that comes from your sponsors um, helps with the scholarships that the winners get. Um, these scholarships help with teen and Miss. 
Teens can use this money in their F11 accounts to um, later on help with colleges. When you apply for colleges, you have to pay the college entrance fee. And then after that, you can uh, sign up for scholarship accounts. So I think it's really important to take in that we have so much financial help if you do win, and it will get you through all the way through college. You can compete all four years. And that includes the MIS organization as well, because women in their career paths can also earn those scholarships and help them with their financial you know, benefits as well. Um, and then another benefit is just, you know, being able to, you know, attain so many experiences, especially in more formal settings. Okay, Rishika. So what is your social impact statement uh, and what are you doing to support your cause? So my platform is helping people who are struggling with drug addiction and the charity that I'm um, currently advocating is the Partnership to End Addiction. Basically, they provide medical help and therapy for people who are, you know, uh, victims of uh, substance abuse. Uh, right now, I'm just going to local fundraisers and um, raising money, doing little services like I did face painting for kids um, and then henna art for, you know, one of the Indian uh, fundraisers around this area. And um, we're going to be having to do like a Kai festival later on this week. Um, so hopefully by the time of the state pageant, there will be a lot more, um, you know, money donated to the partnership to end addiction, but we're basically us two, we're both just visiting different, um, areas, uh, talking about the platform, talking about how this is an important issue that we need to tackle and, um, also raising money, which is currently around 500 to $800. And our goal is $1,000 by state pageant time. Wow. Okay, Tanvi, so how are you enjoying the charity or the volunteering? What did you do? I twisted balloons. I sold some bubbles. Mm -hmm. And I drew some, ch I drew some chalk. Mm -hmm. Great. Did you have fun during that volunteering? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was really great at, you know, getting people's attention and bringing them to the stand and saying, you know, this is what's happening. Um, but she's she doesn't put herself out there, but she's great marketing. <laughs> <laughs> great, Tanvi. So are you planning for a charity fundraiser soon? Yeah. So there's a like I said earlier, there's a Kai Festival coming up. There's India Fest coming up. Um, and, you know, with me being part of the teen association, I'm trying to get more teens to be involved because it is a problem that really revolves around teens nowadays. Um, because drugs and you know substances, they are more available for us in high school. Um, but I think that it's important that you know I make it a point that it's something that we have to actually take care of, and so that's why we're reaching out to you know so many fundraisers and trying to get around. How is your preparation for the state level competition going on? It's um, going well, actually. So, you know, now my, now my talent is being more, you know, advanced and we're adding more steps to it. Every time we go to state level, it's just about, you know, upping, up wanting yourself. It's competition with yourself, how good you can be. Um, so I'm working on talent and, you know, interview practice is happening right now. <laughs> And then, you know, we have our dresses in the tailoring and there's going to be practice of walks and I'm going to the gym. So I'm getting ready for fitness. It's just each round is being taken care of each day. Any advice to the young girls out there? Let's say like Tanvi. Uh... Honestly, the best advice I can give you is be yourself. No matter what happens, if you, even if you don't win, it's just all about being your best self. And even as you go and compete, that's what the directors say. They never try to make you into something or someone. In the end of the day, um, to these interviews and to these the fundraisers that I go to, I do something that I want to do. I raise money in my own way and in a creative way that makes me feel comfortable because that is me. I represent myself as well as the community and as well as the pageant industry. Um, so to all the little girls out there, even to her, Everybody has a great personality, and I think that it's just about showcasing what you're good at. Well, it was really great fun talking to you and listening to you. I see how confident you are, Rishika, and I hope Tanvi grows up to be the same confident girl. Um, well, do you have anything else to say to our Triangle audience who are listening to Chai Burst or watching you? Thank you for listening in. I hope you guys learned one or two things about the pageant community and continue to support us through our journey to state. 
Um, talking about state, state is happening in June, and if you want an in-person experience of pageantry, please feel free to purchase those tickets online at missnc.org. And subscribe to Chibas. <laughs> That's so cute, Tanvi. <laughs> okay, bye everyone.